All right, guys, we're going to be showing you today. So we're going to get the uh, the new short shifter put in from Steeda. Uh, the Steeda Triac short shifter, they just came out with it. But I want to show you the difference in the throws and the movement between gears um, based on the stock shifter, which is currently installed here. So here we go. There's the side view of the stock shifter. And uh, we'll show you both the top and the side view of each gear and then we'll put it up against the uh, Steeda Triax and show you that one. So you can see the differences. Um, I'm hearing it's a pretty large difference and it's a phenomenal product that really helps shorten the throws, gets rid of any slop in the gear uh, at all. So we'll go ahead, we'll show you. So we'll grab it over here, over here. Like that. We'll go ahead and we'll put it in first. You can see first, it's in first gear, and it's still got still got a good bit of play in the gear. Second, no, it's gonna be the same in all of them. So quite a bit of slack. And then side shot. So we'll just go into third. Try to get this right. So here we go, we're in third, neutral, fourth. So that's the movement there, side to side, first, you can see the wobble there. So a lot of what, a lot of uh, the problems I have when you're uh, shifting quickly between second and third, if you're at high RPM, it seems like you're almost locked out of hitting third. I can do it right now, no problem, right? I mean, it, no problem. But anytime you get going fast, you have high revs. It seems like it locks you out, and you have to uh, take a second and then put it in. Uh, oh, I've been having that problem at the track, um, the road course. It's, uh, I don't know, we'll see if the, uh, the new shifter, hoping that it's going to fix that and uh, everything else should be set. So when I, the next thing that you're going to see is we're going to put it up right against the Steeda Triax shifter um, and, uh, and go over kind of the differences and, and what I can see, what I can feel, and then what you guys can see and, uh, and, and really see if it's going to be something that you're going to want to invest your money into. Uh, they have the cheapest thing. But, you know, they're not too bad either. I think I paid right around about three, um, right around about 300 bucks for the, the Cita Triax. So we'll go ahead, we'll get that in, and uh, we'll be back with the differences. Right, here we have the new shifter, the Cita Triax in now. I'm um, going to show you the difference, again, like I said, between the stock shifter and this um, aftermarket short throw shifter. It's actually quite a bit of difference. A lot heavier. Uh, super short throws. Uh, I think it's going to work great for for banging between second and third. So first, again, neutral. Super short. First gear. Now remember I talked about the slop in the gear, look at that. The thing hardly moves at all. It's uh, it's pretty stiff. And then we'll go second. So this hardly takes anything right here. They're so super, super short. Third, let's try that again. Boom, boom, boom. Third, fourth. fifth down to sixth every gear show you again super super tight not a lot of play at all um, been driving around with it for about four or five days now uh, it's spectacular everything I wanted from it um, very good very good and so I'll go to the side view now and as you can see we'll put this up against the stock one but this is 
whew, I'd say maybe inch and a half, two inches shorter uh, than the stock shifter. Quite a bit shorter. Uh, so it's kind of right, it's right there. You're really on it. It's super short. And that makes it easy to kind of just rest your hand right here. You don't need to have it up here. Bam, just right there. Rest in your arm. Bang, bang. Reverse. It is still a reverse uh, lockout, so you do pull it up like the stock, bring it over, pop it up. So it does retain the, uh, the factory reverse lockout. Um, everything else went in with it. Uh, with the uh, everything else stock, nothing had to be modified really at all. Uh, showed you everything that the kit came with. Um, I will say that the guys who installed it, let's just say they had a little bit of an issue getting that thing in. Uh, it took them about four hours to do it. Um, granted, it's their first one, uh, but uh, but we got it in. It's looking good, feeling good, loving it. If you guys have any questions about it, anything at all, uh, you know. You know what to do, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, if you like the video, please leave a like. It helps us a lot. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day.